Wheels have been an irreplaceable part of transportation for more than 5,000 years. But scientists in China are changing the course of history by developing a magnetic technology that will finally lift cars above the ground, so they flow on the roads without the latter's resistance. As a result, cars become very energy efficient, since they can develop high speeds with a magnetic push, and all these without emission. The project is inspired by the magnetic levitating train that can reach a speed of more than 600 kilometers per hour. But unlike magnetic railways, hovering cars will flow on a simple aluminium lane, which is much easier to integrate into the existing traffic infrastructure. And already in 2022, the early prototypes with 2.8 tons of weight reportedly hit 143 miles per hour. The levitation was achieved by a heavy magnetic system underneath the body. But since it increases costs and makes cars impractical to drive on regular roads, the scientists have come up with a brilliant idea of embedding only the car's wheels with ring-shaped magnets to achieve levitation. But how is it possible? The trick lies behind the physics law, according to which, when magnets start moving, in this case, when the magnetic wheels start rotating fast, they eventually create a repelling magnetic field in adjacent conductors, in this case, in the aluminium sheet. As a result, this repulsion force leads to levitation and is used to accelerate the car. After evolving from horses to vehicles, the electric levitating car can become the next big revolution in personal transportation. But the exciting news doesn't end here, as California-based Aleph Aeronautics is opening the sky doors for cars as well. While at first sight, it may just look like a normal driving car despite its unconventional design, the unique flying technology is hidden under the carbon fiber-based mesh body. There are four electric motors on each wheel and eight propellers, each with an independent, software-controlled electric propulsion system. The trick is that the company has come up with an ingenious idea of using the body of the car as wings. It rotates 90 degrees after takeoff to move from upward to forward flight position. And while the UFO-like cabin is also tilting 90 degrees, the driver is always sitting parallel to the ground. Before these adjustments, the unique design of the flying car enables it to gain enough vertical lift and fly forward, which can be utilized for different use case scenarios, such as finally skipping a traffic jam or hopping over obstacles. The great news is that the company has already received certification from the US Federal Aviation Administration for flight testing in limited areas. The dimensions of the car are similar to that of an SUV, designed to fit in any parking space or garage. The initial version, or the Model A, that can seat up to two people, is able to travel 200 miles on the road and 110 miles in the air. For early adopters, it will cost $300,000, since it will be hand-built at Aleph's California warehouse. But ultimately, the next generation, or the Model Z, is expected to have a significantly less price tag. The first production is set to start by the end of 2025, and they have already received more than $750 million worth of pre-orders, which are open now. China's response to America in making flying cars comes from the EV manufacturer Xpeng's air mobility division, Aerot. The car, called the X3, comes with a multi-rotor configuration featuring four axes and eight propellers, which can retract when you drive it on the road as a normal car. X3 is the company's sixth generation flying car, the prototype of which has already made its public debut and successfully completed the tasks set before him. The vehicle came down safely, and the company reported that it also conducted multiple single motor failure tests, which the flying car successfully passed. Similar technology is being used for the fifth-generation flying car, called X2, which is the first human-operated eVTOL to receive a special flight permit in China. This allows Xpeng to perform a series of manned flying tests and collect valuable data and experience, which will support the development and production of the X3. But unlike X2, which operates on full autonomy, you guide the X3 through the air using the right-hand gear lever to move the vehicle forward and back, up and down, as well as to make turns. 
Xpeng ensures drivers will master the gear lever in less than a day, so there's no need to learn to fly before enjoying the experience of flying with your own car. One of the challenges of X3 is that it can only carry two occupants due to its weight of about two tons, since the power requirements for flying this car are much higher than that of road driving. Currently, the prototype can fly a few dozen miles on one charge, but the main goal is to achieve several hundred miles of flying range. The key innovation for achieving this goal is high energy-dense batteries. The current batteries powering the existing electric cars are still heavy, which when used in flying cars require a lot of energy to lift the battery by itself, thus significantly reducing the flying range. As Elon Musk says in one of his interviews, the energy density of batteries needs to improve to over 400 watt-hour per kilogram for electric flight to work. And here, truly revolutionary news comes from the world's biggest battery manufacturer, CATL, who has developed a so-called condensed battery with a whopping energy density of up to 500 watt-hour per kilogram. This is nearly twice as light as a current electric vehicle battery storing the same amount of energy. The company also notes that while the size of the X3 with wings folded is not much different to a conventional vehicle, in flight mode it takes up a lot of space, so you should think about getting rid of the traffic congestion beforehand. But anyway, Xpeng is closer than ever to bringing zero-emission flying cars to reality, and there is also a chance the company will unveil the final version already next year. The release of the next-gen Tesla Roadster has been delayed several times, but the exciting news related to its technology still makes it the most anticipated electric supercar. Tesla is literally pushing the boundaries of automotive engineering, which sometimes turns into a headache for the company, like the manufacturing of Cybertruck's ultra-hard stainless steel body. And despite some delays from the announced deadlines, Tesla is taking steady steps to fulfill the tasks set before them. And when the new Roadster arrives, it will reportedly have the ability to hover one meter above the ground thanks to an optional SpaceX package coming with cold air rocket thrusters around the vehicle. Besides, the special package, in combination with the mighty Plaid powertrain, can rocket the car to 60 miles per hour in an incredible 1.1 seconds. These are some things worth waiting for, adding a new dimension to sports driving. These were some groundbreaking technological innovations of the 21st century, which are going to be a part of our reality very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to witness the initial shift from the age of electricity to the age of magnetism. Also, please hit the like button to help share this exciting news.